Okie dokie. In this problem, they tell us that the slope field has three equilibrium solutions, so nothing new uh, so far, but then they ask about unstable versus stable. So what does that mean? Let's talk about it. So when we see an equilibrium solution represented by the black dashed lines here, we want to visualize, we basically want to scan it from left to right. So as we go from left to right, are the slopes above and below it going towards the equilibrium solution? That's what we want to look for. So from the top and from the bottom, are they approaching the equilibrium solution, going towards it from left to right? If they are, this is a stable equilibrium solution. If, on the other hand, as you scan from left to right, if they are going away from the line, from the equilibrium solution, then this is unstable. And really, I believe you only need either the top or the bottom slopes to be going away from the equilibrium solution. Like if you just had uh, one of them going away, here, let's try something here. So like in this case, both of them are going away from the equilibrium solution. So on top and on bottom, they're not approaching the equilibrium line. Uh, but let's say instead the bottom lines were approaching the line, were approaching the equilibrium solution, but the top ones were not. This would still be unstable. So just some insight on that. Let's go ahead and talk through it. So it may help first to find our equilibrium solutions. So one is our first one and analyze whether it's stable or unstable. So go ahead and label all of them stable or unstable first. All right. So at one, from uh, left to right, we see these lines are already going away from one. So already one is unstable. We see negative two is our next equilibrium solution. It looks like on top, these lines are going towards it from left to right. They are approaching the equilibrium line and below it, they're very faintly positive lines, but as long as they're positive lines, they will eventually, you know, get to negative two. So they are approaching negative two from top and bottom. This is a stable equilibrium solution. Negative four. It looks like because the lines below negative two were approaching negative two, what that means for negative four is that they're actually going away from the negative four line, right? So they're going away from negative four from left to right. And just to confirm it, the lines below it as well are going away from it. So negative four is unstable. All right, which of the following are true? Number one, negative four isn't unstable. Yep, we just said that, good. All right, number two, uh, y equals negative two is a stable equilibrium solution. We said stable, so that is true. Number three, y equals one is unstable. That is also true, that's also what we labeled. So it looks like all of them are correct in this case. All right, let's do one more example. Again, let's go ahead and label all of them. We have y equals one. These lines are going towards y equals one on top and on bottom. So this is a stable solution. Negative two. These lines are going away from it, above it, and they're going away from it, below it. So this is unstable. And negative four, again, the lines above it are going towards it, and the lines below are going towards it. This is a stable solution. <laughs> Which of the following are true? Number one, y equals negative four is stable. That is what we said, that is true. Negative two is stable. That is false. We said unstable. Number three, y equals one is stable. We did say stable for y equals one. It looks like one and three are correct. So that is option F. Break out the eraser to see that F is our answer. Hope this helps. Feel free to save this image. I think it's very helpful visually. All right.